Today's video is brought to you by Netflix. Get your free 30-day trial at lgic.co forward slash Netflix. What's up, guys? Creighton here from LogicLounge.com. This week, we're going to take a look at the Bamboo Tablet and Pin. What's up, guys? Creighton here from LogicLounge.com. And today, we're going to look at the Bamboo Pin and Touchpad. Uh, that's right. It's a graphics tablet. It's one of the newer ones, and I've had my way around with it and played with it, and I find it incredibly enjoying, and I hope you guys will too. So basically, this is the outside of the box telling you that the tablet is personal, empowered. It'll make you empower uh, enhancing and engaging, and it has been enhancing and engaging for me, uh, as well as natural uh Basically, it uh, lets you you know use natural touch uh, and flow. So basically, it has uh, rotations, uh, rotationable skills, uh, such as a scrolling, zooming, and rotating. And you see there by the uh, finger thing. So it's like a a giant track magic trackpad, but better. Uh, so this is the bamboo pin and touchpad. It's this smaller one. It's not gigantic or anything. It's uh, it's about as big as my hand and uh, great for those who just getting started. It's made by Wacom. I always just called it Wacom for some reason. It's called Wacom. Uh, so here is the tablet itself as soon as it focuses in. There we go. There's the tablet. Say hello to the tablet, everybody. It's a nice tablet. Uh, even though for its smaller size, I've actually enjoyed it. Uh, and it, it really doesn't uh, phase me that much for being so small. So there's the pin that's attached to it. It has two buttons and an eraser and a pointer tip there. So uh, that is the complete package right there. That's everything it comes with, just the tablet uh, and the pin. It comes with a couple of spare parts, though. Uh, so if you... Uh, damage the tip it has some replacement tips in there uh, so if you're not totally left out in the dark and have to replace everything uh, so often so it's it's nice for those getting started once again uh, it has physical buttons which is nice which you can program those to do almost anything you want so if you work more in Photoshop you can work those buttons to work in Photoshop uh, to do specific uh, tasks so they're just physical push buttons uh, they're defaulted by turning on and off uh, touch controls to the, uh, the, to the tablet, uh, as well as other uh, incendiary features. That's the pin itself. It comes with the two buttons uh, and an eraser uh, there at the top, and there is the stylus. So you can write uh, right away, you know, da 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 da. You can write just like you would, uh, and it's configurable to that sense. But if, let's say, you want to erase something, well, if you're working in Photoshop or anything, you turn it around and use the flat end, and it actually recognizes it as an eraser. So you'll be able to erase, you know, like if you made a mess up or anything. So it's very nice. It's a nice, slim package, uh, and that's everything right there which is very nice uh it does have a a light there you can see that's glowing white right now and once you move your pin closer it turns to like an amberish color to let you know that it's within range and then that color actually brightens up uh when it uh, is activated on the touchpad so it gives you kind of a visual signal uh that's just there kind of like for the start getting to really know where your pin is but i actually ignored it after i got really used to it and it has that little tag thing that holds the pin so it's not just there uh, all for looks or anything you can actually use it that way so let's head over now into the software section of this so it has a nice software bundle and you see me is like draw to enter uh, and it has multiple settings. So we're going to go look at these settings right now. So this is the settings for the dock, uh, which is basically your uh, centralized place for all the uh, tablet information. Uh, and this is the settings portion of it. Uh, so you can see you can customize what your pin does, if it can be in a touch mode, uh, a mouse type mode is basically what we call it a touch mode, or the pin mode, which basically means that the pin uh, travels it around so the screen area uh, you can select for just one monitor or dual monitors uh, or select a specific portion so you can really utilize the space uh, you can also turn the tablet left-handed or right-handed so if you're a left-handed person you can draw with left right-handed draw with the right there's where you set those toggle buttons uh, it's a right click brings up the bamboo dock toggle touch and click so 
all those settings are there. Uh, if you wanted touch input, you would uh, check that box. And you can set up everything there, uh, as well as enabling touch input, which can help you navigate. So basically, it'll turn it into a magic trackpad, uh, plus more features. If you don't want to just get a magic trackpad and you want something that can do a little bit extra, try that out on for size. Uh, you can add shortcuts in there, so uh, you can shortcut to your favorite applications uh, that you might use. And there are actually a, a plethora of applications that you can use for the tablet, uh, which I was surprised with. Um, it kind of integrate with um, Evernote, which you see there, uh, and it just is for drawing. And you can even play games with it, as well as even tweet. So right now we're going to look at just the regular sketching, uh, which they call it as doodler. So you can uh, doodle away like notes uh, or quick sketches or sketchups or whatever you want to do. So right now I'm just uh, writing out, hello, hi, hello, how are you? So that's just me uh, giving the, test, the trackpad a uh, quick demonstration for you. Which is very nice. Uh, I like how it's so simple. You can share it out. You can copy it to the clipboard, save as a file, do anything with it. Uh, so if you wanted to save it for later, it comes with a notebook app as well, as well as a couple kind of uh, playing around applications such as this Mona Lisa painting where you can actually uh, stretch her figure. So I'm making her smile. Yeah, she's smiling and making her happy. So you can really like play around and really get used to it now and just playing around and making her face all weird. Wee. Ah, oh, the Mona Lisa is now ruined. Bummer. Better alert the Louvre. Uh-oh. Anyways, moving on. There's also a bulge feature so it can pop it out and, you know, just play around. So this is really kind of a, to get you to learn uh, how to use the tablet. and also has a pin there, and I'm just drawing incendiary things, and I probably should stop now because it's really really annoying moving on it integrates with evernote like i said uh and there's even more applications in an online store that's accessible through the bamboo app uh and it has tons of applications that are made specifically for the touchpad such as games uh you can touch to play games you can uh you know, there's just tons of stuff. You can even write out a tweet. That's right. You can tweet from your bamboo uh, tablet, uh, which is kind of cool. And there's just kind of uh, uh, games and incendiary stuff in there. And I'm using this on a Mac, and it's also available on Windows as well. So Windows users, you're not left out. It is for you as well. It comes with software, which is nice. Uh, this is part of the software. This is called the Dock. You can see I shut it down there just by uh, throwing in my uh, eraser tool. So basically, that's it. Uh, it it just it's amazing, and I really like it, and uh, it's fun to be able to play with. Uh, and again, as I was talking about with software, it comes with a software CD for you to be able to uh, learn how to use it. It comes with a very extensive tutorial, so if anybody who is new and really wants to get to learn how to use it, they can. Uh, it also comes with free software, uh, which is very nice. It comes with uh, Adobe Photoshop Elements. That's that's a how about a hundred dollar program that comes with it, uh, as well as Nick Color FX Pro, as well, which comes free with it, as well as some other uh, free kind of uh, preview applications, if you will. That's optional to install. So again, it's uh, you can use it with Windows Seven, uh, Windows XP, even uh, Windows Vista, uh, as well uh, as Mac from OS uh, Ten. 0.48 or above, you can use this tablet without any problems. So check it out. It's called the Wacom Bamboo Pin and Touch. Uh, it'll run you about a hundred bucks, I believe, from Amazon. So not too expensive, uh, and it'll get you going on the track for you know for those graphic designers uh, or anybody uh, who wants to play around with the touchpad. So that does it for me. If you have any questions for me, email me Creighton at LogicLounge.com. You can follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus, all under the name of. You got it right, Logic Lounge. So go check us out and be sure to subscribe to this YouTube video. Uh, subscribing and liking this video will tell us that we've done a good job. So go ahead and click that like and subscribe button. And until next week, 
We'll see you guys later. All right, it's time to talk about our favorite TV and movie streaming service, Netflix. They're the largest video subscription service with over 23 million members. Instantly stream thousands of movies and TV shows directly to your PC, Mac, or any Netflix-ready device like the Xbox, PS3, Wii, Blu-ray players, and more. As a Netflix member, you can instantly watch as many movies as you want, any time you want, for one low monthly price. No late fees, no due dates. And for a limited time, as a new member and Logic Lounge viewer, you can get a free 30-day trial membership. To get this amazing deal, go to lgic.co slash Netflix. And do us a favor, use that link to let them know we sent you. By the way, for you United Kingdom viewers, Netflix is now available in your area. Use the same link and get the same amazing deal.